Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Okay, so I'm using greens and a gold. So what I'm going to do is I did an embellishment um, a couple of weeks ago. It was a pink and gold one. So this time I want to go all green with some gold. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to layer the paint on my base of my canvas. It's a 16 by 12 inch canvas. And then once it's dried, I'm then going to use two stencils. But this is the area that I want my stencils and that's the area that I want to kind of blow out. So it's almost going to be a Dutch pour first and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to embellish it with two stencils. So let's get that base coat on and I will come back to you shortly. Now, I'm a big fan of green and all different green tones, but if you're not sure of that colour, give it a go or opt for another colour that you're really drawn to. I'm just going to use my base colour to basically draw a line with the paint. That's going to be my guide. And then what I'm going to do for the Dutch pour section is I'm going to use that line as my guide and I will layer all the colours on top of that line. I sometimes do that just so it's like an organic line for me to be guided when I'm layering my paint. I've added the gold first and then the idea is to layer all the other green tones on top of that. And what I would say, because I've done this already, one thing that I learned was I didn't have enough colour, didn't have enough paint on my base to allow a full blowout. And you'll see in a minute how I fix that. So I'm using the base colour just to flood the canvas a little bit more. And in hindsight, I should have used just a little bit more than what I'm putting down because that, that paint will help the flow when you blow it out. I'm really loving these colours together, especially with that pop of gold. So there's a section that I'm not too keen on. I love this, but here needs some work. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more of the colour that I'm going to blow out because I really just didn't put enough of it down. So never be afraid to always add some more paint and blow it out again if you feel that an area really needs some more attention. And already I can see that's much better by adding that extra paint really helps the overall creation and design.
So when you're having a look at your overall design, you can tweak it along the way. So don't be scared to really look at that composition. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to take you in for a close up now, just so you can see that color and that detail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this canvas to one side and I'm going to let it dry completely before I take my stencils and embellish it. Okay, so it's fully dry. I'm using the gel and I'm using these three tones to add onto the canvas and onto the stencils. These are my two stencils. And I'm going to literally leave them in place there. But one thing that I would say is make sure you tape down two sides because you don't want that stencil to move because when you're applying the gel and then the paint on top to kind of create that color that you want on your stencil, you don't want it to move because it will smudge the design underneath. So I just attach some tape to two of the sides just to help it kind of steady itself. So when I'm using my palette knife to apply the gel and then the paint, it stays all in one place. So this is a clear gel by Pebio. I will put the details in the description below. But what I'm doing first of all is using this gel to completely cover the stencil. When it dries, it will dry clear. And that's why I apply my paint on top. So both stencils now have the gel on. So now's the time to really look at the colors that I want to add and spread that within the gel. I'm almost mixing it up first. I'm applying the gel first and then the paint second because what I want to do is I want to have a color palette within those stencils where it's kind of mixed randomly. I didn't just want one block of color. If I wanted just one block of color, then I would mix my gel and my paint together before spreading it over. But that's the whole reason I put the gel on first and then the paint on top. It's because I can get different colors within that stencil. So now the exciting bit where I've covered the paint and I can lift up my stencils to see what the creation looks like. <gasps> and I love it. I'm so proud that I haven't smudged it and the tape really helped keep that all in place. I really love doing this and I can almost feel another series coming on where I do more embellishments on my pieces. I really have loved working with these green tones and the gold. And I think by mixing a couple of the green tones and the gold within the stencils really makes that piece flow and gives a really good overall look to this creation. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. So we started off doing the Dutch pour prepped our canvas, let it dry, and then added the stencils afterwards for the embellishment. And it really looks a great overall piece. And I just can't beat those green and gold tones within this creation. Thanks so much everyone for all of your support. And I hope to see you again very soon. Let me know in the comments below what other colors you'd like to, me to work with when I'm doing some embellishments. Bye.